I am really enjoying season three of Last Chance U. Um, I, I think it was when they first released season two is when I decided to jump on the bandwagon. I binge watched season one and two back to back, uh, probably over the course of like two days, and I just fell in love with the show. And I realized like I love a lot of these documentary shows and a lot of these sports shows and a lot a lot of them for the same reason. And I'll, I'll tell you about that here in a minute. But the first thing I noticed about Season 3 as compared to 1 and 2, as you know, we're um, following a new school now. And uh, it's Independence, Missouri. And one of the biggest things about Season 1 and 2 that people had a problem with was Coach Buddy Stevens. And... When you start this season, you kind of you realize pretty quickly that the coach, the new coach, speaks in pretty much the same way. Actually, in a lot of ways, he's way more vulgar and way more harsh than than Coach Coach Buddy Stevens. Um, but the biggest difference is, I think this is how I see it, is that like even though they sound the same. They talk to their players the same. The biggest difference is that his players respect him. And I think it's, um, I, I think, I, I get why they respect him and why Coach Stevens' players did not respect him. Um, like Coach Buddy Stevens, not saying he's not a good coach, but the way he treats his players and the way he acts towards the public, he's very inauthentic, okay? And I think that's the biggest difference. Like, he doesn't own his assholeness, right? He just is kind of an asshole, and he's kind of a dick, and he talks down to people. And you can tell that he thinks he's kind of above people. And then in, in season two, he tried to turn it around. It, it was all for the cameras, though. It was so inauthentic. And that's why I think his players and then the public at large just didn't really respect him. Like, he may be winning championships, but I don't know. He's a dick. I mean, I like this new coach a lot better, personally. Like like I said, he speaks to his players in pretty much the same way. And in a lot of ways, I heard him say a lot more vulgar and a lot more shitty things to his players than Buddy Stevens did, but... Like I said, it makes a difference when the players respect you. And I think that they respect him not only because he comes from a place that they might recognize. A lot of these players are uh, coming from the inner city. And this coach grew up and played football in inner city Compton. And I think that that kind of has something to do with it. Like, they can respect that um, because he's been some of the places that they've been in their lives. And... Um, I think also they feel like, you know, even though he says these things, he's very hard on them, he's, like, he loves them. He cares about them. Like, I think that that comes through. Now, I'm only on season, or I'm only on episode four, so that might change. I don't know. But that's what I'm getting from it. That's, to me, the big difference. That's why I like this coach better than um, than Coach Stevens is because, you know, even if he is an asshole, like, he's authentic. And I think he actually cares about the players. I really do. Um, like I said, that could change. I don't know. Don't ruin it for me. I've still got, you know, a few episodes to go. So please don't ruin it for me. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my thoughts so far on this season. Um, but I was thinking about it earlier. Like, why do I get so hyped about these shows? Like, I didn't play football in high school and or in middle school. I That's probably one of my biggest biggest reg regrets growing up is that I did not play football and that I did not stick it out and, and wrestle actually through all of high school. Like I quit wrestling in my 10th grade year and, um, I wrestled seventh, eighth grade, ninth grade, and then 10th grade halfway through I quit. Um, I just like, I don't know. I had a lot of shitty stuff going on in my home life and I discovered vagina and alcohol and that kind of became where my priorities lied, and I 
didn't care about um, participating in sports anymore. But uh, one of my biggest regrets was not not uh, not playing football. I, I went out for football freshman year, and um, I didn't have the grades to start and um, to to start the season to be on the team uh, freshman year, and so I just never pursued it any further. And I, I feel shitty about that. Like I, I wish I would have done that. That's something I think I would have enjoyed. Um, but what I realized about it is not so much that I can, uh, relate to these people or anything like that. It's that I love, for one, I love an underdog story. For two, I love a comeback story. And this show is like the perfect meeting of both of those things that I love to see. Um, and then what I realized is that the thing that gets me the most, this is what hooks me on these type of shows. Like I love the hard knock series on HBO. Um, I've always loved like, um, uh, what are the, the boxing shows? The, what is it? 24 seven or something like that. Um, I've just, I've always loved stories like that. Okay. I just love, here's what it is. I love watching people work hard. Like, that's what it is. I love people, like, putting it all on the line and having it pay off. I love watching people work their ass off, right? Struggle through stuff. I love to see people persevere, like, through a struggle. That is, like, that has me more emotional than than anything else ever could. Like, when I watch someone struggle through something and then persevere, like, just through dedication and hard work and just heart, you know, that's, and that's what I love about these shows. That's what hooks me on these shows. So yeah, I'm like, I, I find myself like rooting for this team, right. And actually getting so like involved in rooting for this team that I'm actually getting emotional while watching it. And that's, that's what it is, man. I think that's what it is. I, I just love to see hard work and I love to see hard work pay off. So Anyway, I wanted to talk about that because um, I haven't mentioned that I've, that I've been watching these Last Chance U seasons until right now. So I wanted to talk about it and uh, see what you guys thought. What do you guys think of this new coach compared to Buddy Stevens from the last two seasons? And um, do you think I'm on the mark about him not being authentic and this coach being more authentic? Or do you feel differently? Like, what do you think about it? Leave in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy... Um, just hearing me ramble about pop culture stuff, TV shows, movies, um, nerd shit, comic books, any of that stuff. If you're into that type of thing, subscribe for more because that's what I do here. Um, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Thanks.